Hey y'all, how you doing? How you living? It's your girl Kyra Patrice, sharing all things faith, lifestyle, and inspiration. So today I'll just be showing y'all what's on my MacBook as well as some of the accessories that I bought along with it. I'll also be showing you some of my favorite apps and extensions. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get right into the video. I'll just be showing you what's physically on my MacBook. I bought this pink, it's like a soft pink case cover, and it's got a top and a bottom, and the bottom comes with vents, which I really, really love. This is good for like when I'm editing or doing like a hard work project. The one thing I really don't like about the case is that you can't see the Apple sign through it, which is fine, but like it's cool, you know, it's for protection, so it's doing what it needs to do, but I'll probably end up buying another one. And then, if you saw my unboxing video, you saw me, like, put together my wallpaper. So, this is it. It's super cute, right? Since I have a pink case, I'm probably going to end up making a pink wallpaper. So, yeah. And then... Moving along to like the apps, I downloaded Google Chrome because I think it works well with certain extensions and everything happens within Google, like the YouTube channel, you have to have a like Gmail. I think Gmail works better with Google Chrome because it just makes sense, right? There's an extension that I love to use for my YouTube channel and it's called TubeBuddy. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have probably heard of it, but it is so great for search optimization it's really great for picking the right thumbnails it's also great for keywords titles overall it'll help you boost your views and it's been helping me a lot thus far and we on the road to 500 so if you're not subscribed what are you doing we do quality content over here period i mean y'all have to but like I would really appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a whole joke, sorry. But get hit to two, buddy. I think it's like 50 something dollars. They have like a discount for smaller YouTubers, so get on it while you can, okay? Another app that I love is Trello. Trello is great for content creation and planning out everything for you know your business or what have you your social media all that good stuff i use trello for youtube instagram my blog it's just the flow of it it's so nice like you can create descriptions descriptions is where i use to write out my scripts for my youtube videos and for my blog board i have my to-do list i have song list for you know upcoming blog post and then i plan out my blog post so right now i just finished my january post which is great february is coming up soon so i'm preparing for that so another app that i really love or extension is grammarly grammarly works great especially for my blog post because currently i don't have an editor i edit all my blog posts myself and so sometimes i don't catch little mistakes here and there and so ever since i downloaded grammarly it's helped me not only fix my errors but make my writing flow more nicely like cutting out words that I don't need and giving me other word options that sound a little better. Definitely use Grammarly if you're a writer or you find yourself typing up papers for school. I think it'll come in handy. A new app that I've been using, I have the trial version for it, but that's Final Cut Pro. Since I just got my MacBook, I decided that I was going to give Final Cut Pro a shot. And I have been loving it so far, honestly. It's a very nice upgrade to the software that I've used before. It comes with transitions, a lot of text options. It's made editing a lot more easier and the process has become quicker for me, which I can really appreciate because I'd be so busy. So the less time I can edit a video, the better it'll be. Also, I forgot to mention my keyboard cover, which is really nice. I didn't think I would like it at first. And I kind of still iffy about it because 
it doesn't really align well with the lettering on the actual keyboard but it still fits nice so that's great but i just wish that you know the wording or the letters lined up with the actual keyboard but you know ain't nobody looking at heart so <laughs> and if you're interested i will leave the link to this cover or the case case cover is this a case or a cover i don't know i'm gonna leave it in the description box so you'll have it and i will get into the two things that i bought to go along with my right top so a few years back apple decided to stop putting usb ports on their macbooks and it's just like for why <laughs> you know now i gotta go buy an adapter to use my you know usb compatible devices so this adapter really came in handy it just plugs right into one of the four ports on my computer and i believe it's the six in one so you have the sd card slot then you have the micro sd then there's three usb ports on this side and then there's the hdmi port which i love because honey your girl love to hook up the computer to the tv so you can watch whatever you want to watch like you know whenever you out somewhere you went at home and you want to have a movie night HDMI come in handy, okay, period. This has really been coming in handy mostly for editing because of course there isn't an SD card slot on the MacBooks either. So I had to go get it and it's been working really good, so yeah. And lastly, I decided that I was gonna pick up a external hard drive for editing because I didn't want all my editing files to be loaded on this computer and like take up space. So I bought this carrying case separately from the external hard drive, but it's really cute and I love it. I have a Samsung, I think it's like a T7 or something. I don't know. I'll leave that in the description box as well. I think it was like 120, 130 maybe. But I think this is a one terabyte. So overall, I have been loving this MacBook. I really think that Apple did a great job with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments and I will surely answer those for you. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.